What's going on guys, today at Alien Projects, we're gonna show you how to fix the doors on the RX-7. Because a lot of the times, the door handles will break off or they're really hard to open. So we end up breaking them off in the process of trying to get into the damn car. So we have replacement door handles themselves and we're gonna show you a quick tip on how to actually uh, prevent the door from like sticking shut to the point where like you, you pull on it pretty good and then it'll uh, it'll pop open but um, we replace the door handles with metal ones then we're going to show you how to do the fix to readjust the geometry of the door handle itself so that way it just stays uh, perfect and you don't have to lift the car up to get the door open so follow me shall you There's a plastic cap that sits right here. We have the door panel off currently because we're waiting on the switch. So the plastic cap's already off for me, but there's just two pinholes here where you just put your fingers behind it and just pry it off. You'll take that off, and then there's just two 10 millimeter bolts. So you'll take these off first. So after you remove the 10 millimeter bolts, just pry it forward, and you'll see these little plastic clips there. And on the other side, you see it, another one right there. There's gonna be a lock and a door handle release as well. So literally just take a flat blade screwdriver. See if I can get something that's not potato cam over here. So just take a flat blade screwdriver and you'll push on this tab here. It feels like you're gonna break it, but don't worry, you're not. Worst case scenario, if you do, all of them has replacements. So you pry it and you rotate it upwards. And like you just saw, once it's rotated, the metal rod, um, this one specifically being the lock should just come right out. So you do the same thing for the latch itself, which for me is this yellow clip on the uh, driver's side here. So first things first, once you get the driver's side out, um, I broke my door handle off. Uh, so there's no door handle there at all. The original ones are plastic. so or just set of metal ones, <clears throat> it's a little dirty. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that now. Here's the bits and scraps from the other door handle over here. Now, geometry uh, wise with this, when the door handle opens, this rod gets pushed down. Well, this rivet pushes against this bolt here, making it damn near impossible to open it until it breaks free and slides down. However, on this one, I place the rivet right there. So that prevents this from sliding all the way up. Um, it's really simple. You just drill a hole right in the center of there. I don't remember the exact measurement. I will show you here in a second. Um, but when I put them together, you can see what I'm talking about. This is the factory geometry. This is the geometry that I've created. You can see even here with the plastic cap here, um, there's a hair of a gap, but over here, there's not. It's right against the plastic. In fact, it's actually crushing it. So literally all you do, um, dead center of this spot, whatever the measurement is from the center of this to the center that I have for this rivet. Like I said, I'll show you here in a second. I'm gonna do the same from the center of this piece here up into here, same thing as the rivet. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and drill it and put the same size rivet in. I don't remember exactly the length of said rivet. You can see it right here. Um, but there's that. So that gets drilled. And then on the back side here, there's a spot. You can see where it's like a half moon where there's some bare metal sticking out. That spot also gets drilled to, to clear the rivet. Um, you don't have to go as extreme as I did, but I just smoothed it to make it nice and sexy looking. So, um, so there will have to be a relief cut there as well as the rivet in the center here. So you'll have to drill and sand some stuff down. Now I have a uh, Dremel with a barrel sander, so that's literally all I use. It was really quick. So I'll show you guys how to actually take these apart now. So first things first, you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take this bolt out right here. Now for that, I just have my trusty green Phillips screwdriver. Go ahead and get this bolt out of the way. Now hold it because there is spring loaded. Um, you can see the spring tab here and the other end of the spring is right here. So you just kind of pry that up. The spring will break free. I take it out just to get it out of the way. But then next you're stuck with this whole piece right here. Um, you don't have to take it apart from the rest of the door handle, but I'm going to just to make it easier. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. It's a smaller set of four Phillips screws on both sides to retain the rod that goes across. 
the inside of all these holes here, here, and on this latch piece. So we're gonna take that apart now. And then uh, once that's all out of the way, I'll take this piece. I'm gonna measure the same that I had for here and mark a spot here on this piece here so I can go ahead and drill it. And then we can uh, pop our rivet in there, grind down our metal piece that's inside of here so the rivet has clearance. And then uh, we'll just put it back in the car. We should be good to go after that. whole assembly should come right out. Now here's the piece that would be the door handle, but I broke it off. Um, and then yeah, that's pretty much all it is. All right, so I'm gonna do this here in inches. So from the center of the factory rivet inside the car to the center of where I put the rivet is just gonna be a half inch. And then from there you center it in the middle of this piece here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that on here. So if we get it marked, try and Get everything out of the way here to the center to about a half inch would be right about here that looks about center in between uh, side to side and then it's a half inch from there so we're gonna go ahead and drill that right now so i'm just using a one inch one eighth bit because i'm also going to be using a one eighth diameter by one eighth uh, grip length Slide that guy right through. You can see I do have my 1 8 bit on my rubber gun here. I'll go ahead and just a couple pumps and get this guy in here. Perfect. See? Now that rivet's in there, it's not going to be touching that yellow plastic like you saw earlier, and it'll actually prevent um, this from pushing against here. It'll push from here to about the edge right where my thumb is there it'll put push the pressure all onto that point there and it'll take the pressure off of the center of the bolt here so it'll actually work how it's supposed to versus trying to push down on itself it'll go outwards i'll uh, i'll show you guys more when i get it actually put back together what that's supposed to look like all right so now if you guys are here for the door handle replacement itself if you haven't done this little tech tip that i'm showing you now's the time to do it uh, while you have it out However, sw switching over to these metal pieces here, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually put these in. Um, and that's gonna be what this video is gonna entail a little bit. So with this piece in here, it's gonna look a lot like this, right? And you got this little weird doodad here where there's, there's a pinhole here and on the backside, there's like these little, uh, I guess, channel pieces. Um, so with all this in here together, it should clip to the inside of this just like this and kind of hug it. Um, when you play with yours, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. You can see the shape is kind of there. Plus you can see some worn down metal from the plastic itself on the door beforehand. Um, so it should sit just like this inside the housing. And once you have it all in place roughly, You'll go ahead and take the pin. Now there's gonna be, a majority of it's gonna be this thicker piece, but at the very end, there's this little little smaller diameter piece. So you'll shove the smaller diameter through the thicker end there. Um, and then you'll make sure it goes through the metal bracket itself inside here. If I can wiggle that into place. Go through there, and once it's through there, then you'll have it put through the edge of the door handle here. It's gonna be a little tricky, but once you get it, it'll go right into place. So now that that's down, we're gonna go ahead and put it all down and we'll put these little um, bridge pieces back in place and uh, we'll go ahead and put the latch together. I'll put the spring back on in this bolt here and then we'll show you how it works when uh, it's, it's supposed to work. Perfect. No, we don't need to, you don't need to grind it. It's just big enough where it might scrape it just a hair, but it's definitely not gonna work. But you can see now, how if you come at the door like this and you just pop it, super easy now. So now you can actually get in your car and not have to worry about breaking the door handle off or you know doing anything else under the sun. But you can see how putting this right here blocks this bottom portion metal from going any further this direction. Um, Cause then 
it'll put pressure on this bolt, bolt right here. But this blocks it, so it changes the geometry to push down. And you can see how that works right there. I'm happy. I guess uh, time to throw it back in and then maybe once both sides are in, we can actually just hop in the car, open the door just fine and drive the car. So I put the door latch one in first, take this plastic piece and bend it back down. Pops on, right? Same thing for the door lock. Now you might need to finesse it just a little bit to get it into place, you know, pushing the thing, the handle down, but yeah, and then you just pop it back in place, line it all back up. And then on the inside of here, perfect. Then uh, normally you put your door, door plastic back on, but since we have the door off, I don't know where the hell I put it. So, all right. <laughs> anyway, so now your FDR7 door should close and open like it's meant to, just like that. Beautiful. Cool story. So <laughs> leave a like if you like it, leave a like if you didn't like it, and I hope to show you guys more tips on the random dumb things that this car or even the Miata has as a problem. As you can see, there's some paint being done. Yeah, long story. <laughs>